What is up, Flavor Family? It's Bobby and Desi coming at you with another breakfast recipe that you're gonna love because we are taking Desi's famous keto fat bread batter and turning it into an everything bagel sandwich that will be the best start to any morning ever. So let's do it. Let's make some keto breakfast recipes. A low carb, keto friendly, everything bagel baked in the oven until golden brown and delicious. Cut open, slathered with cream cheese, topped with smoked salmon, tomatoes, cucumbers, and red onions. So if you guys are looking for some of the best healthy meal prep and recipes on YouTube, Desi and I are rocking them out every Friday morning. All you gotta do is click that old subscribe button, you'll get a push notification, and you can join the Flav City fam. This recipe starts with a cup of macadamia nuts. I'm using roasted macadamia nuts, but you can go with raw, just make sure they're unsalted. I wonder if this would work with cashews, because somebody was asking us after the last video, because those are fatty too, do you think it would? It would, but it wouldn't be keto, right? That's right, because cashews are very, very high in carbs. The fact that this bread is so low in net carbs per slice is redonkadonk, but good call. Cashews are very, very starchy. All right, what else, babe? All right, so close the lid and then buzz it up for about 30 to 40 seconds until it's creamy, but still a little chunky. You're gonna need five eggs. Crack each one and add it to the food processor one at a time. By the way, guys, if you wanted to make something really special, you can make macadamia nut butter. So do what Desi did in the beginning with the roasted macadamia nuts. Maybe add some coconut oil, some cinnamon, a little pinch of salt. Spread that on Desi's keto fat bread, and that is the best snack, brekkie, whatever it is, that's money. Next up, we want to use a cup of coconut butter. It's really creamy and much thicker than coconut oil. Add half a teaspoon of salt, then buzz up the mixture again until it's smooth. You think this can be done in a Vitamix, babe? Um, I think a Vitamix is strong enough to do this, for sure. All right. Then add the zest of a small lemon and add about a tablespoon of lemon juice. And the last ingredient is a teaspoon of baking soda. And then buzz it up again until it's all combined. Now transfer the mixture into a Ziploc bag, cut one end off and pipe the batter into the tins. Make sure you guys go slow but apply steady pressure. That way the batter comes out evenly and you can fill up all the tins with the same amount of batter. All right, last one is down. That's cute, I'm gonna give you credit. Looks good. Should we tap them down to make sure they're set? Yeah, just a little bit. And then what's next, babe? My favorite, favorite ingredient, part. yes. I found everything bagel seasoning at the store. Gotta love Trader Joe's. So just go ahead and shake it over the top for the signature topping of the everything bagel. If you guys can't find this, you can just make your own at home by combining some sesame seeds, onion and garlic granules, and a little bit of salt. All right, these are ready to go in the oven for about 25 minutes. At 350, right? Yep. Let's do it. All right, it's been 22 minutes. The bagels are ready. Come on, look at those golden brown delicious beauties. Those are awesome. All right, I let those guys rest for a few minutes. And look at <laughs> how amazing these bagels look. I mean, unbelievable, right? Yeah, guys, give a little thumbs up for Desi because these bagels are legit. Let's cut them open and make the most ultimate lox and cream cheese sandwich ever. My favorite brunch dish. Yeah, now it's ketoized. To build the bagel sandwich, cut the bagel in half, then spread some cream cheese on the bottom half. Go down with a piece of smoked salmon or Nova lox, then add a slice of tomato, some thinly sliced cucumber, some red onion, and the top bagel. And there it is, you guys. The most epic and so darn cute, keto-friendly, everything bagel sandwich for brunch, for brekkie, for Instagram. Desi, you did it we again. We did it, babe. You did, did it. it. Cheers. Cheers. Let's try a bite. <laughs> wow. Bagel and Lux has always been my favorite brunch item. Yeah, what about for me? Growing up going to Jewish jellies, dude, this is crazy. I don't, I don't know if it's kosher, <laughs> but they're gonna love it. A couple of notes about the bagels. We used a donut tin. Um, that's why they're on the small side. If you can somehow find a bagel tin that's bigger, be even better. Um, when using smoked salmon, find smoked salmon that doesn't have sugar when it's cured, or use Nova Lox, which is just salted, it's not smoked, so there's no sugar to it. You guys, the recipe for this is down below in the description box. It lives once again on the new flavcity.com thanks to Desi's three months of building the new site. So warn you make it. <laughs>
<laughs> make sure you leave a review and uh, rate the recipe. Um, down below also is storage, reheating, macros, all that good stuff. Desi crushed this recipe for you guys, so share the video. Spread the love around the interweb. If you wanna see two more awesome recipes, they're below us. How is your almost epically dropped sando? It's good. Okay, good. <laughs> um, but we will see you next week. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Peace, guys. Art's first keto bagel is a disaster. He was so eager, it fell apart. That's all that matters, Holmes.